DIY culture, it's not just about protesting and fighting back, it's about creating alternatives. In this film, we'll be looking at the world of music, visiting a band, a sound system, and that time-honoured DIY tradition, a free festival. Yeah, very MTV, mate. Can we get on with this? And what about this fancy headgear? I can't handle it. <laughs> we were just in a pub one day, having a drink, and we sort of talked about how nice it'd be to have a festival. And at the time, we just thought festivals just kind of happened and existed, but um, we found out that they don't at all. I think it's really excellent that our festival is like mainly run by women and last year it was all totally women but it's good, it's really empowering for women to do it. With commercial events it's quite often the individual who benefits from it, an individual will set it up, an individual will, will organise it and pay people to organise it for them. Um, with the free circuit it's much more a community thing, everybody gets involved in it, everybody can do something. Anyone can come, it's not a ticket thing, it's not about um, being a certain age or being a certain type of person. What I say is where there's a wick, there's a way. What we're talking about, ladies and gentlemen, is DIY culture that started in the 80s. It's all about free festivals, squads, travellers, protesting, and all that sort of thing. But what happened was in the 90s, uh, the Criminal Justice Act tried to criminalise all these things that we've just talked about. And uh, what's happened is, is that people have got together like never before. They're creating free entertainment. They're creating free inter information networks. They're creating free everything. All this is put on for free. It's unbelievable, isn't it? I would love to see festivals started up around the country because I think it's just a really good thing to do. <laughs> Get your arse in gear really, don't just sit about and, um, and just be handed something on a plate because it's not what it's about. Take a load of our mates and uh, go up to a free party that's being held in the Loom area by a group of people called Exodus. Three years ago, the Exodus Collective squatted an abandoned hospice just outside Loom. They battled with the council, renovated the building, and now it's a thriving housing co op. Once a fortnight, Exodus put on free parties for between two and 10,000 people. They're some of the most kicking dudes in the country and we thought we'd go along and check one out. People escort the sound system to the party venue to stop the police taking it away. According to the police, Exodus parties have reduced drink-related crime in the area and on one occasion even helped stop a riot. Well, here we are, this is where the uh, Exodus Convoy meets up in an industrial state just outside of Luton. The atmosphere here is completely mental. As you can see, there's thousands of cars filled with more thousands of people inside them waiting to go for a massive party, and uh, we're here as well, so uh, hopefully we'll uh, see you up there. come in here and uh, broke into a warehouse which is quite near where we uh, left the convoy and uh, everyone's setting everything up, they're putting up lights, they're putting up a stand, they're clearing all the crap that was in the warehouse before. It's a crime this is an empty space but at least it's getting put to good use now. The money was put into the bucket so the sound and the money that was collected was put back into the sound so gradually built up stack system. This, this is a one in a million thing, you know what I mean? People just go there and really do have a party.
just becomes a deeper thing. It's not just about having a good time, it's about getting things together and creating a good vibe that everyone enjoys and can feel a part of. Zion Train used to make and distribute their own records in true DIY style. Then they signed up to a mainstream record company. So we went along to one of their gigs to find out if they'd sold out. We're about to step into the echelons of Sign Train's uh, tour in the middle of England. As you can hear, it's thumping away in the background. It's DIY culture, bring us DIY music, although they've gone a bit mainstream now. They're getting on the inside and putting out a positive vibe. And this is what it's all about. Let's go. that Zion Train set up our own studio, set up our own recording label to put out our own music, meant that we weren't going to sign a contract with somebody else lightly. We were independent doing it ourselves. And I think that ultimately gives you more power. You're in, in a position now where there's like five big multinationals controlling the whole sketch with the music six. industry. There's six now. Yeah. There's six, I've got my facts wrong. <laughs> Wake up. All right, so there's six, right? Now, you're sort of working with Time Warner. With Warner. Um, They're big buggers, aren't they? Yeah. yeah. Why are they say that again? Arms manufacturers and completely cold-hearted capitalist pigs. Why are you working with these people? They spread a message much further than we ever could. And we care very much that we are able to provide an alternative to Quentin Tarantino, Ice T, the Fugees, and everyone else who wants to glorify death and sex and money, because that's not what we're about. We've had chart entries, and we've had people who have never heard of Newbury or Reclaim the Streets or anything like that writing to us going, what is this about? We send them a wobbler, and then they're saying to us, I've joined the Animal Liberation Front, or had a brilliant time at Reclaim the Future in Liverpool. Now, we can't, we're not going to get all evangelical, but we do what we can. This film has looked at many different examples of people taking the ethics of DIY culture and combining them with making music. Punk rock reckon music could change the world. All DIY culture is saying you can start by simply making a difference. Get off your butt and do it yourself. Excuse me. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry about that, anyway. Cheers.